Come here. Come here, Bobby. Come on. Let's go, Bobby. You know I'll be stop on the side of the river. yesterday and baited it. We have not run this yet. Um, I'm not really in love with the reading we got as far as how deep the line is. Might have to tighten it up, but let's see what we got. We've got cut bait shad on here. Oh! We use cut bait shad. I personally think we're going to end up having to tighten this line, but... Got bait. It's a nice piece of bait still. Oh, I got a tug! I got Ooh, a tug! Hello. Look at that, look at that. That's uh, right here. That's a nice little tug. That's a little blue cat. Net. Net me, baby. All right, hang on. He's not big, but he's full of fight. He's a good eater. Where's he at? He's down a couple. The way he's pulling, I wouldn't be surprised if there were two. Look at this though. Nice fish head. Oh, yeah. What's on there, buddy? Hi, buddy. Who's that, Mary? Look, he pushed the bait all the way up the leader. Dang. Hey, he's mad. What's up, buddy? Huh? Hey, come on. Is that Murray. dinner for you two? Come on. Come hey, on. that's a channel. That's not a blue. That's a channel. No. That's excellent eating. What are the differences between a channel cat and a blue cat? Just to the eye. Uh, Untrained eye. So a channel cat has this goldish, brownish, kind of river bottom kind of color. And a blue catfish is blue-gray. Look at Oh, wow. We almost didn't catch him. Hmm. How's that, Moose? Is that your buddy? Huh? Is that your buddy? Yeah, you haven't seen him for a while, huh? Ooh, I to bite your face. <laughs> it literally just went. Shoot. So we'll run it back through. Kind of double hook it. What's up with your necklaces? Huh? What's up with your necklaces? Oh, these? It's yeah. so funny you would ask. Well, you know, I haven't really told a whole lot of people, but I just came back from Kauai. No way. I've been telling absolutely everybody. Hmm. All right, see if there's any other kitties on here. I got so bored. Oh, there is! Oh my God, there no is! No way. Ah! The okay. new line pays. Hopefully our uh, two beautiful channels. Oh, James is gonna be so happy. Hopefully our southern line did this as well. I've got this friend who uh, is obsessed with catfish fillets. He lives up in Morgantown and. Uh, I've been promising him for some time. Hmm. Ooh, look at that. Tug, 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 tug. Oh, he's smaller. These are channels, though. These are excellent. Probably just yank him up without the net, right? Well, I don't want him to run into the... Yeah. Look what he put those Let me pull. Just put them in there with him. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> two for one special. We'll call it two fish, one net. Two fish, one net. Never done that before. A little scoop and swoop. Scoop oh, and scoop. Excellent, excellent. Yes, it does. Turn mash around this. So our idea here is whatever hook still has bait on it from yesterday, we'll add a little bit of the stinky stuff. And uh, whichever hooks are empty gets a goldfish. Dip that in the water, see if it stays. I mean, it'll make a little stinky trail. Take it too much. Make a stinky trail for him to follow. Here, open up that fish head mouth and stuff that piece in there. Mm -hmm. Feed the dead head. 
I'm not into defiling dead creatures, babe. It's this hilarious is, that you thought you I was serious. To, what, to shove in his mouth? Yeah. I mean, it seemed like a great fucking idea. <laughs> I was like, what? I never thought of it, but that's oh my not God. a bad idea. I'm sorry, Moose. What? Is it because you guys are blockaded? You better stay right there. You just chill. She wants one of these. I feel so dirty right now. For anyone who doesn't think I get my hands dirty, I'm as dirty as you can get. Yeah, you're sleeping in the garage after oh, this. Ah, oh, okay. So the stink bait doesn't work as well as we wanted it to. Debunked, did not work. This stuff, um, you're supposed to be able to mold it around your hook. It's supposed to work on a circle hook or a treble hook. I could see it working on a treble hook a little bit larger, especially if you put it on there um, from the head before you tie your line on. But yeah, it didn't work, didn't last a second. So if somebody at Cabela's tries to sell this to you and tell you that it'll work in a moving river, they just want to make $4.99. Well, well, I'll say this. There are little net setups you can get to hold the bait. Pantyhose, he means pantyhose. If you're cheap. If you're cheap. If you're smart. I can get one. Hmm. There's three. They're small though. They're so much smaller than the hook. Said the large. Now we did uh by you hook them? Tail or through the mouth. Like through the head. Up through the roof of the mouth. Up through yeah. the roof of the mouth. I'm so sorry, dude. Open up. God, those are just disappointingly small. They need to be like four or five times that size. All right, that is brand new line done. You can line drop it if you want. <laughs> Come back tomorrow, get even more. Mm. To the second line. Done well for us, so fingers crossed. They are crossed. So are me toes. A lot of empty hooks. Yeah. Dang, this one's nothing but a fin. hooks are empty we'll have to tighten this line because it's probably turtle it's probably laying on the bottom I thought it felt a little muddy last time we checked it yeah okay. did you see that yeah I see this see the rings yeah I don't feel any tugga tugga hey at least we checked the lucky line first right <laughs> but not skunked for the day. See what bait we got left, bait back up, come back tomorrow. Amen. What's mommy doing? What's <laughs> mommy <laughs>
guys how we do that. It's kind of cool. Take a, or take a couple bricks off. I'm just going to take this one. Wow. <laughs> Oops. It happens. where we've already yes. uh, tightened up the line once. But yeah, you basically just pull slack on it. And then the other person puts down the camera and ties the knot. <laughs> it's a two-person operation for sure. All right, ready? Nope. Now are you ready? Uh, are you gonna do the He-Man and while I do the knot? All right. Uh, spider on my face. I've never felt so close to you. There we go. Yep. Okay, nice. Took a good 24 inches of length out of our line. Now a lot of you are probably asking yourselves, why did I not just untie it from there and pull the slack up? Well, because that is really, really hard to do. Um, I know it seems like it would probably be just as easy as doing this, but if you do happen to drop too much slack, all of the bricks will hit the bottom of the river and potentially hang up on stuff. So this is just kind of a guaranteed way to tighten the line without you know, having anything get stuck on the bottom of the river. Oh, and just for fun, See the dust on the leaves here? Hmm. A little bit there, goes all the way. All the way here. Yep. So that is where the water got to while we were out of town. I love these. <laughs> but like when the back of your neck starts to sweat, they kind of itch a little. <laughs> oh, that's actually a lot better. All right, so another fun thing, I don't know if I've ever pointed this out, but there is a method to our madness as far as where we put the bricks. So the bottom of the river is not always going to be perfect and uniform. It's not always going to drop down from each bank at the perfect same angle and be perfectly lovely deep all the way across. So like sometimes you'll have the bottom of the river is almost like a Nike. Like you have this really long bank on one side and then it gets deep like, you know, three quarters of the way over and then it kind of goes straight back up. So you can use your bricks to make your line that same shape. Just, you know, don't put as many on the long side. Put all your weight in that concentrated low spot and your line will actually take on that same okay. What do you got to say? What, Moose? <laughs> what? <laughs> the floor is yours. What do you want? What? What, Moose? <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah, so you can manipulate your bricks to have your hooks in the optimal location. All right, guys, that is it for us. Um, we've got a couple of fish back here to clean. Take a couple pictures of those, share them on Instagram, that whole thing, and we will be back tomorrow, hopefully with four fish. Hopefully. Non-drop.